Post 41 isn't just kind of a post of veterans, it's actually kind of a family. Everyone that belongs to the post knows each other, they're very close, and, they're, and this post is very involved with their community and with the local area around here. Uh, and so when you support the post, you're really supporting a lot of people, thousands and thousands of people. When you support veterans, you're, you're fulfilling, uh, I think, the promise that we told veterans that we would always be there for them if they served us, and I think that's the best we could offer them. Well, happy Veterans Day Post 41. Uh, thanks for always accepting me. Uh, thanks for also keeping me honest and uh, thanks for allowing me to be part of the family. I'm proud to be a member and you know we have such a rich history that we should be proud of. Besides being you know, the post for Latinos, um, this post also led the civil rights movement here, uh, Latino civil rights movement here uh, in the Valley. And uh, you know, I think the, the post is gonna be very important for us in the you know, forthcoming future here too. We're most fortunate to have our congressman representing District 7. In 2014 he was elected and he was first member as a congressional representative to ever been sworn in into a post. He's a member of Post 41, so his sorry, uh, touring in ceremony was at our post. How's that for coming home? <laughs> and just in case you didn't know, he served in the U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> A combat veteran, served in Lima Company, 3rd Battalion, 25th Marines. In addition to that, we all know him as our leader in Arizona. You see him on CNN, you see him on MSNBC, but you never see him, fortunately, on Fox. <laughs> You should know that Congressman is a graduate of Harvard University and a master's from Go Devil, Arizona State University. So let's give our Congressman a post 41 Rory welcome, por favor. It is good to be home. Uh, first of all, I didn't know it was going to be a roast. Thank you, Dr. O. <laughs> but it's good to be home back at my post because this is the one place where, yes, I'm a congressman, but I'm still treated as a boot here because I've only been a member now for seven years now. All right. No, no, no. I 2005. Yes, sir. DC Daniels. Okay. 17 years. So I still got more, more time. Uh, Thank you, uh, everyone. Thank you for the Post 41 family for always treating me like family. Uh, I first joined the Post in 2005 when I got back from Iraq. And uh, I actually, not from Phoenix, so I had no family uh, when I moved here. And so it was, and I moved um, four blocks away. I got an apartment four blocks away, which was horrible for my liver. <laughs> there's a lot of times I, I, if you know who you are, we would close down the bar here, and I, I was stumbling home. So, I'm still recovering. Yeah, I was, actually. Uh, and I'm still recovering from that. 
But, you know, it, I love uh, this post because it really has made me, uh, uh, you know, I, had, I always have a home base to come back to, a place that keeps me honest. And it's even better to come back here on Veterans Day to see veteranos here uh, in proud uh, service to the country uh, and wearing uh, uniforms. And uh, when I say the word veteranos, I am proud of the fact that I am Latino uh, and I'm a veteran and that I serve my country and that I, I love seeing other brothers and sisters now that serve their country like good patriots. Because people forget that we've been serving this country since the American Revolution. We've been serving in every war since the American Revolution and we've been fighting and, uh, for freedom and keeping this country free. Uh, every war since uh, then and it makes me proud to remind people of that uh, and you know when I went to Congress that's all I cared about and I worked about and this year I finally got the, something that I really cared about called the PAC Act if you ever ever lived next to a burn pit uh, like a lot of us did in Iraq you're now gonna actually be able to go to the VA and get treated for that and we learned a lot uh, us Iraq War veterans, Afghanistan veterans, we learned a lot from our Vietnam veterans who told us about Agent Orange. Of the stories you guys told me when I was here at this post, I took back to Congress and we were able to look forward and say like, damn, we gotta take care of us because we know that it's gonna come in the future. So uh, the experience that you guys provide here at this post uh, is something that I always uh, cherish. And especially on these Veterans Day, let's remember uh, all the families that, that sacrifice. I'm not just talking about the deceased, uh, but the, the families that sacrifice time away, right? When you send a veteran to war or send them on a deployment, you're asking a family to give up a part of their, your, your, your life. Up. You're not gonna see your husband, your wife, your son or daughter. You're gonna miss holidays. You're gonna miss birthdays. That is a sacrifice. I remember you know, missing Thanksgiving, birthdays, deaths of family, everything else like that. Uh, and, and I felt bad being overseas, but then talking to my family when I got back, when they told me what they felt they missed by me not being there. So let's remember that when we send our people to war, we're sending also family with them, and also when they get back, they're still with us too. And let's honor their sacrifice of time and time away from their family. So thank you very much. I was promised, uh, I did promise not a long speech, because uh, the most dangerous territory in America is the speed, the person that is between you and the bar at American Legion Post 41. <laughs> Love you guys all. Happy Veterans Day, Semper Fi. Thank you, that was only in a nine minute presentation. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Two fingers in the mouth. Yeah. Thank you, enjoy, happy Veterans Day.